With talks in the pipework from Google to rid browsers of ad blockers, it becomes important now to circumnavigate this differently. A DNS network-wide ad blocker is a device that filters either all client traffic or all network traffic and rejects any ads from coming through via DNS. This is easily done with Pihole. I'll let them explain. Pihole is a network-wide ad blocker, a black hole for internet advertisements. It works on any device without the need for additional software. It can block ads in non-browser locations, such as ad-supported mobile apps and smart TVs. It makes your network faster by caching and preventing advertising images and videos from being downloaded. The quick and dirty on how ads are served to you is you search or go to a web page, that web page gets returned to you with ad tags, most likely catered to you personally. You can run Pihole on any Linux-based system, but this is a perfect project for a Raspberry Pi. If you don't have a Raspberry Pi, the following steps are the same, as long as you're still using a Linux-based distro. In this case, I'm using Raspbian. I have a video on my channel of how to install Raspbian if you want to watch that first and then come back. The link is in the description. Once booted into your Linux distro, you can either work directly on the system or SSH in. Either way, it doesn't matter. I will be using SSH, so I'm going to need to enable it in the Raspbian settings. To do this, open your terminal and type sudo raspbian-config and push enter. Once in the software configuration tool, select interfacing options and then SSH and then yes and OK. Finally, click finish. The next part is optional but recommended, and that is updating your Linux distro to the newest software packages. To do that while still in your terminal, type sudo apt-get update. Once that's done, follow that by sudo apt-get upgrade and wait for those prompts to be done. The next terminal line is to actually install Pihole, and that's going to be curl hyphen ssl https semicolon forward slash forward slash install dot pi hyphen hole dot net vertical bar and then followed by bash and push enter. It's going to run for a few seconds, but if you see the Raspberry ASCII text start, you know that it's working. Let that run until you see your first input prompt. It should be this. Installer will transform your device into a network-wide ad blocker. Just click OK. On the donation page, press OK. On this page, acknowledge that the Pi hole needs a static IP, meaning that it doesn't change on your network. Just push OK. Now you have options. F0 or WAN0. Just choose F0. You can always change it later if you need to change it for whatever application. Now you need to choose an upstream DNS provider. I recommend Google, but choice is yours, and just press OK when you're done. Followed by your third-party block list for ads. Leave all these selected and press OK. This is followed by the IP version 4 or IP version 6. Leave both of these selected and press OK. Lastly, it will assign an IP address to this device and ask if you want to make it its static IP. Press yes if you do, no if you don't, and you can change it to something else. Lastly, a warning about how your router may assign this IP to something else during setup and cause conflictions. Just press OK. The sooner you get this done, less chance it may happen. Next is going to be, do you wish to install the web admin interfaces? I highly suggest yes. Either way, press OK when you're done. On the web server page, it's your decision. I recommend on, as do they. Press OK when you're done. Next is, do you want to log queries? Press on or off depending on your preferences. I suggest on for better data. Privacy mode is again personal preference. If you have different people that are going to have access to the admin interface and your personal PC is going to be a client, the decision on whether or not you basically want those people to maybe possibly see your internet history, then it's entirely up to you and how dangerous you like to live press OK after your decision. This last page is the assigned IP address and the pre-made password for your web admin panel. You can either use this password or make your own. To make your own and change it, once it's done installing, open terminal and type sudo pihole hyphen a hyphen p and set your new password twice. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Now pihole should be up and running. To check, open a browser and type the assigned static IP forward slash admin forward slash and press enter. If everything has gone to plan, you should now see your admin panel. To log in, press login on the left hand side and type either the provided password or your changed password and press enter. 
You have now successfully installed and have Pi-hole up and running. This video is already too long for me to have a guide on how to use Pi-hole in this one, but be sure to look out for my future part two on, on tips and tricks and how to run everything in Pi-hole. Or there are many good tutorials already on YouTube. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving the video a like. If there are any videos that you'd like to see me do, please leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching.